So I just installed Fedora 38. I did the updates. I downloaded a couple of pieces of software like uh, Chrome, Brave, GIMP, Only Office, Kdenlive, Live, and OBS. Now when I tried to record OBS, I noticed that there's a really bad echo. I got this really nice microphone here. You can see it. Uh, there it is. Probably can't see it too well, but it's a good microphone, and I. Set up the. Uh, I think I have enough to check. I think I set up the noise reduction and the noise gate in the OBS settings. But there's this bad echo, and I think I know why. It's probably because the laptop microphone is also recording. So I got two microphones recording, so it gives me an echo. So I'm gonna check. I'm gonna fix that right now. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go to settings. I'm gonna go to. Audio, audio devices, desktop audio, and then desktop audio 2 is going to be my MR02 audio analog stereo, that's my microphone. And then the microphone auxiliary audio, it shows that it's on default. So that, I'm pretty sure, is going to be my the microphone on my laptop. So I'm going to go ahead and disable that. And then I'm going to click OK. And it should, be, it should be working better now. If it's not, I'm going to stop recording and restart it, and then it should work. I'm going to go ahead and stop it and check the video. All right, so I got the microphone to work correctly. There's no more echo because I turned off the laptop microphone. But now what I'm going to do is fix the as you can see the little screen right here in the bottom right corner of the screen you can see me but it looks really dark which uh, shouldn't be the case so I'm gonna do a couple of things I'm gonna turn the light on okay and I can see me better but it still looks a little off so I'm gonna check the settings I'm gonna go to settings I'm going to go to uh, video. Everything looks normal there. I'm going to check. I'm going to go here to screen. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, video capture. I'm going to right click and go to properties on that. And now you can see me right here. And it's still kind of dark. So I'm going to change the lighting here. Brightness, let's see. Okay, I guess it's not gonna it's not gonna work while I'm recording, so let me pause this and I'll be back. So as it, what I did here is I changed the setting back to defaults for my video capture device, which is my webcam that's built in my laptop. I don't have one of those nice expensive fancy cameras yet, I'll give one of those later. But uh, what I did is just set it to defaults, restarted OBS, and seems to be working pretty good now. So um, it's pretty dark in this room, so I think that's a lot of the problem, but looks like it's working okay now, so. So I'm on the website called getfedora.org. And from here, this is where I downloaded Fedora Workstation. So I had just installed this, and this is Fedora 38 Beta. Um, I did all the updates. I set up a um, bunch of software, as I said earlier, and OBS uh, was giving me issues. But it was just the, the uh, it was just a problem with the setup. So I just had to go go through some things and set that up, and. I got everything working so uh, Fedora seems really nice so far I installed the uh, extension called dash to panel because honestly I'm so used to using KDE and on my other computer I'm using cinnamon but I should say Linux Mint with cinnamon um, and I'm just so used to the taskbar on the bottom or panel 
on the bottom. So what I did is installed that dash to panel extension. And so I now have, have this panel on here. It's more of what I'm used to. It's not, you know, exactly like KD or Cinnamon, but it's it's more comfortable for me than going up here, clicking on activities, going back down, clicking a, an icon, or clicking on the menu to get this big menu that I, I'm not really, I'm not used to it, that's all. I can't say dislike it, it's kind of cool, but I, um, I'm not used to it, so uh, I installed this extension as well, this applications menu that I believe is from Fedora, and you have a categorized menu here, and it makes it easier for me to use. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Fedora 38 beta for a while, do all the updates, see how it goes. So far it's working really nice. Uh, another thing I like about it, it has a, a newer kernel. Uh, it might be the latest kernel, 6.2.2 I think it is. And and it's working really good on my laptop because all my buttons work, even my brightness buttons work with this distro and with most distributions I try, um, it, it just, so you can see there, most of the distros that I try, those buttons don't work. But with this one, with OpenSUSE um, and Nabara, those three, for some reason, work. And the common thing amongst those three distros is that it is RPM based and it has the latest kernel. So I'm thinking it's probably the latest kernel which which probably includes the drivers that I need to use all the buttons on my laptop, which is the Lenovo Yoga C15. So I'm going to check uh, the kernel to make sure I give you the right kernel version. Uname-R shows me 6.2.8. Okay. It did updates this morning, and I guess it's uh, 6.2.8 now. Dash 300, dash all this other stuff. So anyway, yeah. If it's not the latest, it's pretty close to the latest kernel. And uh, it's working good. See, right now I have OBS, a terminal, and files, which is a file manager for GNOME. Um, and I'm using 2.11 gigs of RAM. Uh, for some people, I mean, I'm running these three programs, so it's it's about normal. I mean, some people might think, man, it's using a lot of RAM. Well, no, because I have 12 gigs of RAM, and it's only using a little over two. I got plenty of RAM. Like they say, if you got RAM, use it, right? I mean, it, it's not going to hurt anything. Even if it goes up to, like, 10 or 11 gigs, uh, I'm still good, uh, which I've never seen happen before yet. So, anyway, so that's uh, that's working nice. So uh, I'm going to use this for, you know, a little while, and then I'm going to do a review on it and kind of show you guys um, everything that I encountered. The good, the bad, the ugly, the awesome, anything else I see. So I'll let you know. So this has just been a quick review of Fedora, specifically based around OBS Studio, which I use for recording these uh, crappy videos I make. And uh, you know, if you like it, click like. If you don't, click the thumbs down. That's okay. Um, I do these videos because I like to talk about Linux. So I'm not planning to be famous or make money or anything like that, even though the money would be nice. But I'm not after that. I just like making the videos. So uh, this is just a quickie. And as I said, in the future, I'm going to do a review, a full review of Fedora 38. So for now that's it and uh, we will see y'all later.